Today we are in beautiful Sausalito, California, taking a ride to Robin Williams' house on the Paradise Loop. I've got my industrial light and magic jersey with me today, so we should be good to go. Let's check it out. The Paradise Loop is a favorite cycling route of locals in this area. Usually starting in Sausalito, it heads north and loops around Paradise Drive. This was Robin Williams' backyard, and as he was an enthusiastic cyclist, he was well acquainted with these roads and trails. Today we're making a pilgrimage of sorts. We're going to try and find Robin Williams' former house, which is along the route, and we've chosen two bikes that are appropriate to the situation. Robin had many, many bikes in his collection. One of them was a Serata Legend tie. Here's Robin's legend. Ben Serata built high-quality bicycles in Saratoga, New York. And here's Joe's legend tie. Robin also had a Calfee Dragonfly Pro. This is Robin's Dragonfly. So I'm going to be riding my Calfee Tetra Pro. Here's my Tetra. Craig Calfee makes Calfee bikes fairly close by at La Selva Beach. Okay, enough about the gear, let's get on with the ride. So I don't know if I mentioned that we had never ridden in this area before, but we quickly got lost. We missed the turn and took the bike trail too far north. A quick check with a phone set us on the right course. This section of the route on East Blythdale is a bit tricky. Lots of fast moving traffic, crossing freeway on ramps and off ramps, and lots of construction. Eventually, you get off the busy street and get on a beautiful trail that follows the water all the way to Tiburon.
When we reached Tiburon, the traffic lightened up considerably. On the far side of the town, there were some spectacular views waiting for us. This little town is where Robin Williams' dad, Robert, retired to back in the 1970s when Robin was 16. Leaving Tiburon and heading up Paradise Drive, we passed the Tiburon Railroad and Ferry Depot Museum. The original building that houses the museum was built in 1886. We're on Paradise Drive right now, and uh, this is just a beautiful area. We've had some pretty hairy, heavily trafficked areas on the ride so far. It's about, uh, I don't know, 75% hairy traffic, 25% beautiful. So let's continue on. A few miles of twisting wooded roads, and we come upon Paradise K. Robin had a few homes in the Bay Area over the years, one in San Francisco, a large estate in Napa, but this was the last place he lived. We dropped down a steep hill into Paradise K. My Strava says it was 15%, but my legs suspect it was worse. Kudos to Robin for riding up that hill out of his neighborhood every day. All the homes here back up to water with the backyards sporting private docks but from the street, it looks like a pretty normal neighborhood. We're almost there. We just turned on to Robin Williams' old street. We're now coming up to Robin's house on the left. 
When we first came up to the house, it looked like someone was having a party, but as we got closer, you could tell it was a construction crew. Well, we found it. Here we are in Paradise K, and this is Robin Williams' old house. It looks like it's being completely gutted and redone. It appears the house is going through an extensive renovation. We talked to the contractor and he says the house is in really bad shape, even sinking into the water. They're putting new pylons under the structure and it's getting ready for its new owners. The contractor said that the Williams family left quite a few personal belongings in the house when they vacated, including their paddle boards. I'm sure there were plenty of good times had in this house, but Robin's tragic passing can't be ignored. Suffering with undiagnosed Lewy body disease, he spent his last days in extreme mental distress, having anxiety attacks, panic attacks, and most probably hallucinations brought on by the disease. As we head back to Sausalito, I remember all the joy Robin brought to the world, and by all reports, what a kind and generous guy he was. It's too bad I never had a chance to meet him while cycling up Paradise Drive, but I'd like to think he's still hanging around, checking out other cyclist rides, and cheering the weary rider up the hard hills. See you next time, everybody.